Our black figure amphora, or as it has been known, the Johnson vase, has been a significant piece in the collection of the ANU Classics Museum since it was purchased in 1984. It's over two and a half thousand years old. And one of the reasons it's so special is that the painting is really beautiful. We're a small collection. Other museums might have 10 of these. We have one, but it's beautifully presented and really loved. Unless you have a look, number 52, of course. The ANU purchased this object in 1984 from Sotheby's in London. $95,000. Sotheby's is an auction house. It's a very well-known auction house. They had no idea it had any connection with the illicit antiquities trade or that it was illegal. Il Comando Carabinieri Tutela Patrimonio Culturale è stato istituito nel 1969, quindi è uno dei più antichi che si occupi di protezione dei beni culturali. These were among 10 paintings worth a total of more than 15 million dollars stolen from Italian churches by a branch of the Mafia. Dal 1969 ad oggi il TPC ha recuperato più di 3 milioni di oggetti. Il commercio di beni culturali illecitamente sottratti o illegalmente scavati nel mondo è stimato da Interpol intorno ai 4-5 miliardi di dollari all'anno. Il traffico di beni culturali in genere è sempre eh, collegato alla criminalità organizzata perché fa del commercio dei beni in generale, non solo quelli archeologici, come uno dei mezzi eh, attraverso i quali poter chiaramente eh, riciclare denaro o investire eh, denaro. Il Comando Tutela Patrimonio Culturale chiaramente lavora a livello mondiale. Abbiamo un eh, database, eh, una banca dati dei beni culturali ricettamente sottratti. Abbiamo circa 1.300.000 oggetti censiti. We put our catalogue online. That's how they were able to find our object and identify it and match it to some of the archives that they had in their database. We were in no doubt that this was an object that had been illicitly uh, acquired and therefore uh, illegally sold to us, unbeknownst to the ANU. I've been the president of the Friends of this lovely museum for very many years. This is a small museum and it's been very lovingly put together over many years, over 60 years in fact. And I thought, oh, it would have to be the Johnson vase, <laughs> which is <laughs> probably one of our prize ex exhibits. So yes, it was, it was a hard knock. <laughs> I was actually very excited, which is maybe a different response than others would give. The next stage of this process for us was to compile all of our records for objects in the Classics Museum and beyond that were excavated from Italy. And we put that together and sent that to the Carabinieri. They informed us that they had discovered another object in our collection, which was the Apulian fish plate. Well, the Apulian fish plate is a great favourite as well. Illegal excavators known as tomboroli, literally tomb robbers, but illegal excavators uh, would uh, reveal material that was then sent on to dealers. This piece is connected to an individual named David Holland Swingler. He would source material directly from Tomboroli in the southern part of Italy and then export them illegally through his food business and then sell them uh, from his base in California. So a &E purchased this object in 1984 from Holland Coins and Antiquities in California, which was run by Swingler. Sotheby's, 9th of July, 1984. 
In going through our records, we noted a third object that looked or seemed suspicious. So we raised it again with Carabinieri and they confirmed that the marble head had actually been taken from the Vatican collection. The ANU is not legally obliged to return these items. Of course, there was no question that it would have to go back. Uh, this was something that had been stolen. The university had bought it in good faith, but it was illicit and therefore it would have to be repatriated. The Italian government offered to have both of these items on loan to the ANU. This was huge. It's a one more step that confirms the solid bond of friendship between our countries. The importance of these items is not an economic value. The importance is an artistic and cultural value. I have to say that in recent decades, uh, many countries around the world feel the importance of this cooperation and the importance of bridging to each other uh, so that this kind of uh, illicit trafficking stops. Australia is a very good market because uh, Australia is a, is a rich country, so it's true that it is uh, uh, pretty far from Europe or from USA, but uh, uh, in, this, uh, in this world uh, it doesn't matter. This is uh, a, a worldwide uh, issue. The business is really big. We are working with other university museums here in Australia with the hope to work with more. All museums are grappling with these kinds of issues. We're grappling with historical collecting practices. So it's actually been a very positive thing to have repatriations take place in our museum because other museums can have these conversations, these important conversations, and now we can be a part of them too.